Look at this goof parks his cars. I mean, really. Come on. Jeez. A little close. This kind of got some room to get around here. We may be trying to take care of this if we can get in there. Yeah. Brand new part. A little oh. bit of a scrub in the sink. Yeah. Shined her up a little bit. Sweet. Sweet. It's definitely going to need some uh, chrome polish. Yep. I guess from Neverdoll at the house if you need to borrow it. Right. And you're not going to do the whole car. You're going to polish the paint. Not with Neverdoll. Dimples really show up. Actually, this thing should clean up pretty nice. That blue and gray. Get rid of the blue stripe back here. It's got racing stripe. You know, if this was an old... Uh, an old Camaro or something might be a the, what they call it the hockey stripe. Oh, I guess that was usually off the front. Came up the front and then down the sides. But yeah, so it's a reverse hockey stripe. Okay. Uh, let's see. One beer job. <laughs> this job brought to you by Coco Brown. Oh. Kind of sounds like the driver of this car, doesn't you it? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing with Coco's car, man? <laughs> I am Coco Brown. <laughs> nice. Okay, shut up and get to work. Yeah. You can do it. I was hoping you didn't need that plastic piece. I left that up there at the junkyard. But... Should just be like a, a one of those stamp nuts. Right off. Well, this one came off a lot easier than the other one. She's a little bent. Well then. You're always confused. trim. Huh. Clear plastic, huh? Nice. She's pretty well hammered. Put them side by side. We'll get a picture of it too before you put it on. Something whitish yellow. Yeah. Wait a minute, what did you, you hit yeah. my car? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of got flattened really. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Just a little difference. All right, we'll show the reinstall here in a minute. Here's the uh, chooched part. A oh, little hammered there. Just a little bit. You can see the line running along there. This is the original crease. So all of this material should be folded underneath. It's got a little bit of a yellowish color paint. I wonder if that was like a parking bollard or something. But, uh, Oh, new ones. Loosely yeah. installed. Going into one of those parking 
Yeah, yeah parking yeah. post or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure, yeah. yeah. And the rubber strip patch should straighten out. The plastic filter is actually not too bad. I thought it was bent right here, but that's part of the body. I'll go over here real quick while Kevin's screwing around in that part. I'll show you the important stuff here. So it's just a filler piece back in there. Move the stuff there now. But yeah, it's already looking better. He's got that on. Got this dent beat out. The light replaced. I mean, body work's almost done on this thing. Major body work, I should say. There's your rubber whammer. Is it straight? <laughs> I mean, gotta re gotta remember this is an '80s GM product. I mean, that's all they did in the factory, right? Is that huh? all it? Pretty much. And it's built to the factory specs. Yeah. <laughs> You'd know better than I would. You're closer to the you were closer to the factory than I was. <laughs> Got the uh, extra ventilation port here. Yeah. A lot of people paid uh, good money for that. It's for the brakes. Right. Yeah. Brake cooling fan right there. Corvette technology. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe that'll relax a little bit, but maybe not. Who cares? So, what, a $500 car? I don't remember what I paid for it. six? Five or six, something like that, yeah. I mean, for what you paid for it, it ain't bad. It runs pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Yeah. The interior is. Well, was there. Yeah. Now we want to open the door. I don't want to screw it up too much, but yeah, it's still stripped. He's got the milk crate seating. Again, that's another highly sought after option for these cars. Can't really see with the lighting, but there we go. Put you right up next to the glass. So yeah, she's pretty well stripped down still. Little bits at a time. And what, this end cap you said was 70 bucks on eBay? Yeah, somewhere around there. I got this one for $9. Not 90. $9. Whoa. Should have grabbed the other side and thrown it up on eBay for like 25 bucks. Hell, could have grabbed the whole bumper and sold the whole thing for 100 bucks. Of course, I don't know what what they would charge for it on the, from the pick and pull, but... I'm not trying to ship a bumper. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Cool. I mean, you know, it's, it's really, there's not a... There's no other dents in this car right now. The body is good. Very, very minimal. I mean, literally minimal. That's just the minor... Scuff. I think there's a little one right there. You don't even really see door dings in this thing. I guess there's a little scrape here on the bottom, but I mean, it's not even, I can't even see a dent. It's just color. So, really, the biggest issue is these end filler pieces, which are soft plastic. But actually, actually, yours has got a straighter body than mine does. Hello. Uh, the hood, but I mean, that's easy fix. Never decided to repaint. I mean, there's. Let's see if we can count them here. Uh, get the screen so I can see them too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I'm seeing nineteen stiletto marks, stiletto marks on the hood. Hey, and I'm done with the video. And there's one little tiny one in the trunk. That's probably not even a stiletto mark because it's not deep. So, yes, what do you need, little brother? You can push that black piece back and take away the gap on the front of the bumper. Like that? Whatever it looks like. You're in there now. I'm helping. Still got the gap up here? Nope. Okay. Pushing it back as far as she'll go. 
All right, well, we'll end this video portion here and we'll show you when it's all done. All right, there well, you go. Great. Yeah, you haven't even finished your, uh, what was that? That's like a quarter beer job. Yeah, Cocoa Brown, yeah, Cocoa sweet. Brown. Come on, chooch it, chooch it, yeah. with the sun in the back. Oh, look at that, look at that. What, come on. The sun went away. <laughs> Those days are behind me, all right. <laughs> there you go. Changed man. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> that looks a heck of a lot better than that piece did. Good, I'd look at that corner and be like, ah. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, yours, you got less dings in yours than I do in mine. So. We'll play with this this summer a little bit. At least get the same color. Yeah. Put some Bondo on it and beat it out and do what you need to do. And Sweet. Cool, it's almost ready for the cruise. I know. Too bad you're going to be out of state. It is that weekend. Huh? Yeah, goof. Guess you're just going to have to fly back up real quick, enter the cruise. I gotta get online and see, uh, get the uh, registration form. Mm -hmm. It's like 30 bucks to put a car into it. Mm -hmm. You know anybody who's gonna be sticking around town that wants to take your car on the cruise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always, well, of course, next year it'll probably be out partying too. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Priorities. Yeah. I thought you don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <huh? laughs> Man, I can't wait to clean this and buff it. Right, that hood. I know. It's a I mean, it's hood. Got some nice shine to it as it is now. But it's got a couple of little dents coming up. Yeah. No big deal. Rubber hammer those back in place. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. The Sedan DeVille. All right, it looks complete now from the thing. It does. The Teddy Wampus filler piece. But yeah. They're both are straight now, so. Hopefully that'll, yeah, that's straight. It looks like it sticks out a lot. That's just the, the shape, yeah. So anyway, I think we'll end the video here. So uh, thanks for following along. Another Cadillac repair video. Woohoo! Bye bye. All right. There's the original side. Out of the car in the sun. Looking pretty nice. And there's the completed repaired side. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. This piece is actually supposed to go behind the bumper, but he's leaving it out just to kind of get it to relax a little bit more, conform to the original shape. This piece, I don't know, maybe put some weight on it this summer when the sun comes out, see if it'll kind of go back to its original shape again. But, or just keep an eye out for one from the scrapyard. I don't remember what that one looked like at the one we were pulled the car and I pulled this off of, but there you go. All that's left now is that back quarter. He's thinking maybe this summer. So, right on. I'm this one now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.